So let's go back to the Ricci tensor, RAB, and construct a scalar. This is called a Ricci scalar, <clears throat> or I think it's uh, the curvature scalar. <clears throat> it's sort of a number at every point that gives you a sense of the curvature. And so the sphere um, must have, this, it's curved, and it has the same, same curvature at every single point. <clears throat> so we should get a number that um, is fixed at every, at every point on the sphere. So uh, to get a scalar from this, we need to do, let's apply uh, G, let's raise the index, GCB, and that'll give us, um, right, we're summing over B, so that gives us uh, an R, C, A, and then we can choose A to be C, so we have R, C, C, and that is G, C, B, R, C, B, and so that looks like our, if, if it's uh, the sphere, then it just has zero and one components, so G, C, zero, R, C, zero, plus G, C, one, R, C, one, <clears throat> And that's G, now we sum over C, 0, 0, R, 0, 0. I'm not, well, let's just do it for completeness. So G, 1, 0, R, 1, 0, plus, now we're here, G, uh, 0, 1, R, 0, 1, plus G, 1, 1, R, 1, 1, which in our case <coughs> reduces to G, 0, 0, R0, 0, plus <coughs> G11, R11, and uh, that's G00 is the inverse of G00, which is uh, R squared, so that's 1 over R squared. R00, right, we remember that RAB is equal to 1, 0, 0, and sine squared theta. So <clears throat> we're multiplying uh, this by this, which is that, so there's nothing to do there, plus G11, but let's remember that GAB is equal to R squared zero, zero, R squared sine squared theta. <clears throat> so, um, where are we? We have G11 upper, so this is G11 lower, so G11 is R squared sine squared theta, and the inverse of that is what we need here. Uh, so we have 1 over R squared sine squared theta, and we're multiplying that by R11, which is sine squared theta. And so we get, <clears throat> like the sine squared cancel out, we get two over R squared. And of course, at every single point on the sphere of radius R, it's the same, uh, it has the same curvature.